Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, as you may well know, the first hours of a newly installed Windows installation can leave the system after that installation is complete vulnerable because of a Microsoft Defender protection gap. And as you may well know, a Microsoft Defender uh, is the built-in antivirus that's bundled with Windows 10 and Windows 11 that is part and parcel of the Windows security app in both operating systems. Now, the reason for this is because the operating system installation images, um, like your ISO image files, may contain outdated anti-malware software definitions. So because of this, once again, uh, Microsoft now has recently started rolling out the latest security definitions for Windows images, and that's uh, using the latest security intelligence update version. And uh, uh, if we just head over to um, that actual announcement, yeah, we can see if we scroll down, the feature supports the following OS installation images, Windows 11, Windows 10 Enterprise Pro and Home Editions, Windows Server 2022, 2019, and 2016. And the security intelligence version is 1.413.494.0. Now, although at the time when this announcement was made, that was the latest security intelligence version. If we head back to our Microsoft Defender app and we scroll down and we have a look at our protection updates, I am sitting already on security intelligence version 1.417.71.0, which is newer than the one listed uh, in that announcement. But nonetheless, this is still a move in the right direction. Just up updating that ISO image file with um, more up-to-date security intelligence um, upgrades. And the package size is approximately, um, on ARM is 78.2 megabytes. On your 32-bit um, operating systems, that will be 128 megabytes. And on your 64-bit, 132 megabytes. So um, I think this is a nice move. I have posted on this um, previously um, about around about the middle of June this year where I mentioned that Microsoft has updated the Defender definitions for Windows ISO image files. And once again, they've recently um, rolled out the latest security intelligence updates for the ISO image files. So it looks like they are trying to keep things now um, more current when it comes to those ISO um, images of um, Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server, which I think is a nice move and should just make any installation um, a lot more safe and secure in regards to that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.